Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the African night crawlers that have been put in the new three bin system. This isn't their permanent home, this is just until I get around to getting out of the bag system. So, right now, let's see, I'll move you closer to this one. So, you can see the top material is really dry. I did put in um, a corn of cob. Right piece of corn. So let's see what's going on with that. Night crawlers, the African night crawlers in particular are not known for necessarily being super excited about nitrogen sources. So it does not surprise me to see that even after almost two weeks there's not a lot of action going on with that piece of corn. But I will, they are more known for being appreciative of night or of carbon sources. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them an alternate food source here. I've got some bread that went bad. It's also pretty wet. So that should be pretty easily used up by them pretty quickly. And then I'm also going to give them some more bedding. Because as a general rule, the African night crawlers will go through bedding uh, at a higher rate. At least that's what I've noticed than the other kind of worms. All right. Um, once I left the lid open for a while, then basically they had settled in and they quit running amok. But we did have probably a couple hundred worms that took off on me. All right. Let's move to the next bin. Alright, so bin number two. See if we can, yeah, that top part is, is pretty dry, but I did put some dry bedding on top. So let's see what they're doing with the corn cob. Looks like this bin seems to be a little bit more interested, but I still don't see where they're making a whole lot of progress. So I'm going to put that off to the side, cover it up. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did with the first bin. And I'm going to give them a handful of moistened bed, um, bread. And then I'm going to give them some of my moist bedding that I made for them. Which, if I can remember, I will put a link up to at the top. All right, now on to bin number three. All right, Rosebud's going to help with this one. Now, as you can see over here, I purchased a zucchini and it was rotten in the middle. So these guys are also going to get a piece of zucchini. So... Looking at the corn, you don't need to look at the corn. I'm looking at the corn. Not seeing a whole lot of interest in that quite yet. So I'm going to put that off to the side here. Cover it back up. And then I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to give them the rest of that moldy bread. Um, I do combine that with water. You can tell it's pretty pretty wet. Cover that back up. Let's see, I'm going to give each one of the, the beds a piece of this zucchini that was broken, or not broken, rotten, rather than put it in the freezer. Let me regret it. And then I'm going to give them a little bit more bedding. So this is really only the, you know, we're only a couple feedings in since I harvested the urban worm bag. So it's not unusual to see kind of lackluster progress and, and everything from the worms as they're first getting started in the bin. It does take them a little while to recover the microbe population and also for them to get settled in. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you are not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. 
Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.